how much those <laughs> salty, crispy potato snacks are worth, our man. <laughs> that turned out to be They <laughs> are worth... Wait, do you know, what about that New York Knickerbocker point guard? <laughs> yeah. Even though I have been in the United States for nearly 40 years, I still find it very difficult to imitate my friend and colleague, Dagan McDowell. <laughs> that was Dagan and Stewart making fun of each other's accents on a network a couple of years ago. And it brings me to this. What do Superman, Spider-Man, and Martin Luther King Jr. all have in common? Well, in the most recent movies, they were all played by British actors. Now, with McDonald's going with Steve Easterbrook, uh, it makes yet another American company that's decided, hey, a Brit is the best person for the job. So he joins a club from the United Kingdom that includes Vogue, the New York Times, Monsanto, Pfizer, and the list goes on and on and on. So, Heatha, upon further review, is a British accent the only way to, 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 to get it into a movie, to start a movie, or to be the CEO of a corporation these well, days? Well, I have a fun fact for everyone. Did you guys know that the mayor of London is actually an American citizen? Boris, Boris? Johnson? Yes, he, he is. He looks crazy. Perfect. I thought he so, because he looks like a nut. He, I love him, by the way, but he, he looks, looks like, like a nut. But he also pays American taxes, or he should be. Right now, he's on protest. He doesn't want to pay American taxes because he's been in London for so long. He says that he's paid. Uh, he's a nut either way. He's a nut. But, <laughs> but, but how come the Brits getting all the good jobs in America? That's what I'm wondering. You know why? It's because they have the accents. Whether it's <laughs> Charlie Chaplin or Mick Jagger or Sharon Osbourne, they come here and the but accents they, but here's, really here's do my, matter. Here's my pushback on that. A lot of times they'll play roles where there's no British accent. In other words, yeah, but, you know. But, but, they're well, able to, but they're able to. When you're like, playing Superman, it's not a British behind accent. Behind the scenes, they have the accent. It's easier to say things like. What the heck is going on? It's well, British accent. No matter what you say with a British accent, it sounds it so good. It does sound pretty Even hot. If you have to girls with a British accent, it doesn't okay, work yeah. for There's me, a but. difference between sounding hot and making decisions to actually lead a company. And I, I'm hoping okay. that these boards are making the decisions for these CEOs because that they're the best. The accent. It goes beyond the, Because they're the best ones to lead this company. Now, in McDonald's situation, I might not necessarily disagree. While I'm optimistic about McDonald's future. This CEO over in England, he did something very interesting. He had free fruit Fridays. He put more nutritional facts out there. He has composting and recycling and encourages that. He has a little bit more of a, I want to say, more progressive environmentalist, freer standard for McDonald's, which I don't know how well that's going to sit. I think they think that's going to connect now, with now millennials. He also comes out of PricewaterhouseCoopers. Anyone who comes out of PricewaterhouseCoopers doesn't necessarily have the imagination, the marketing skills, so that does concern well, me. Well, let me uh, let me just say, I will say, as someone who messed up the teleprompter two segments ago, I'm <laughs> So jealous of Stewart because he can say any name, mispronounce it, and no one says anything. He, Charles, I want to hear. He says Manning of What the heck, that Stewart? You blew that. that. I'm sorry. I want to hear your British accent. Go I don't on. have one. Rob, help <laughs> me out here. You know, I'm not too bothered by it. These these Brits <laughs> all had to bring a lot of money to American companies to get these jobs. If there were some systemic thing like we, when we were losing jobs in American manufacturing 20 or 30 years ago, I'd be concerned. Rob, Rob, this work is with me. This is the fun segment. No. Rob, 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 this is the fun segment. I can't go with you on this. Uh, one. I okay. think it's a I, I still thing. think there's something weird about it because, again, I could see maybe, you know, when they introduce themselves to you, but the role sometimes, they're playing like someone from Appalachia. I mean, we can't get someone from Appalachia to play in Appalachia. Now, wait a minute. You just insulted, I think, a Southern accent. No, maybe they just feel like there's a sign of, of, of education, intelligence. Well, the you character, I'm saying the character doesn't have the British accent, so why would they get the job? Well, why because they get they're the able job? to network in Hollywood. I think no, that's I don't what think it that, comes but, down but, to. I mean, and, and that British accent really doesn't... Can, can anyone blame the American like school system? I'd see a correlation <laughs> with that. that the, okay, the British now, look, accent you know what? A good example would be Madonna. Now, Madonna, she was always a leader in terms of, you know, trends and popularity of, you know, starting Trends. She walks around with this fake British and Johnny accent. Depp, yeah. Oh, he does too. Yes, yeah. that's right. All right, we'll yeah. leave it right there. We tried to have fun, guys. Hope you did too.